Each week on the focus group, John, Jason and I present the best gadgets that we can find in a particular category to our focus group and they tell us which one they like the best. Now this week, I think it's fair to say that we have really excelled Definitely. ourselves. We've found the most amazing ways of controlling your computer and our gang today is made up of business and IT and electronic experts. And John, you're up first. Well, I've got a thing called the light glove. I know it doesn't look much like a glove. It's actually something you put around your wrist, but you can use it to replace a mouse and a keyboard. And I'd like someone to help me demonstrate it. Sir, come with me. So the idea is you put this bit on your wrist. This yeah. is actually a transmitter, and there's a receiver next to your computer, which goes into a standard interface. You wiggle your fingers around, and it interrupts a beam of light between the two, which enables you to control things on the screen. You're, get, you're getting the signal, and you can just about play a keyboard purely by interrupting beams of light. Right, guys, do you uh, remember the film Minority Report with Tom Cruise, right? OK, imagine I'm Tom. <laughs> don't, you, don't you say anything. <laughs> remember, Tom Cruise had that sort of virtual screen where he put his fingers up there and he moved things around. Believe it or not, with this, the iPoint presenter, I'm about to show you exactly that. It's incredible technology. It uses infrared light housed in this box here. Actually, there's also a computer and a projector in there, so the device itself is a lot smaller than this and will soon just be a USB device. You can see how I've got a desktop with a bunch of things on it. Imagine the web pages or pictures or whatever. I just move my finger in. It's going to grab that branch picture there. Look, bring it up. That noise is my finger reaching the point where the light is bouncing off my fingertip, going back down here and being picked up by two cameras. Two, because it's a kind of stereophonic system, so it actually has a sense of my finger in 3D space. I can bring another finger in, move it around. I can put a frame on it by moving it up over to here. Hang on. Isn't that great? Right, guys, this is called the MyToby. This is a computer that allows you to operate it, communicate and interact with the screen by simply using your eyeballs. Can I have a volunteer, please? Now, there's a camera down here and four infrared sensors that give the software the information it needs to work out exactly who's looking and how they use their eyes. And there you go. That's plotted David's eyes. Now, can you write for me Gadget Show by simply looking? What David has to do is make sure that that red circle goes all the way around the G and the E before he looks away. Can you see that? See, it's so quick. Now, if you want to hear what that says, allow it to speak. Gadget show. And I think, ladies Gadget and gentlemen, show. that's amazing. <laughs> Don't you think that's incredible? After we'd shown off our gadgets, we left the focus group to get properly hands-on and truly interface with the tech for a while, so they could make their minds up about which they like the best. I don't think it's fully developed yet, but once it is there, I could see a lot of practical uses for it. It could be fun for games and things like that. It is one thing to look out for in the future. It's a good concept. Ideal for people who can use their hands. Really interactive, there's lots of uh, uses for it. Oh, I think it's quality, it's um, easy to use, the interface is amazing. I enjoyed it, the best one out of the lot. OK, chaps, it's time to vote now for your favourite, so only one vote each. If you like John's light glove the best, raise them high. It's going to be another one of those. <laughs> sorry, I know, sorry it's about that. <laughs> OK, Jason's minority report pointy finger thing. That's it, yeah. Sorry. <laughs> oh, I've got quite a few there. One, two, three, four, five, six. Seven, eight, nine, nine. Good show. Good, yeah. OK, and for my Toby, for controlling with your eyes, two, three, four, five. Oh, nice. So Very this good. week's winner on the focus group is... iPoint presenter. All right. It's going to be quiet. Just turn the volume up on your TV. Stop controlling me. Hi. <laughs> <laughs> you made me do it. <laughs>